I want to start a company. I want to do something that has maybe nothing to do with music. I'm in love with Drake. So I figured I might as well do a deep dive on his company. May 2021, he released these candles. When I first saw him post about it, I thought it was odd that he was even getting into candles. I mean, I guess because he's seen as like the sensitive rapper, maybe. I thought we were working on the album. Maybe it was supposed to roll out together, but it didn't work. So the company has only been in operation for about three months or so. Like I said, they dropped it in May and it's around August. So it's definitely a little too early to have a definitive opinion on the company. I like to analyze companies. That's my hobby. Welcome to Respect the Conglomerate. There was like a lot of press release early December. I'm guessing this is for the holiday season. Christmas time is the perfect time for candles, the winter time, but it didn't end up coming out. I don't know what happened. It could have been like a manufacturer delay. In 2020, a lot of people, a lot of manufacturers closed, they shut down and a lot of the shipping was like two, three weeks delay. So that could have been a problem. And they may have hinted at it for Valentine's Day. I didn't even research Valentine's Day. They probably did, but either way it didn't drop. They should have dropped it with the album. And this is not like a whole drop the album thing. This isn't that, I'm not giving that. I'm just saying it would have worked a little bit better with the candles and the album. Just a bunch of press releases, no product, just, just press release, no shade to Drake, no shade. I've never smelled the fragrance, but judging by the description, it's giving winter time. It's giving rainy day. Like just reading the description, they don't go with, spring which is the season mother's day is in but he had these products and he had to unload them so now was the time so i get it it doesn't seem it didn't seem like a good match for me did that stop anybody for buying it no nah. it sold out everywhere he said that it was an experiment so i wonder the data that they collected are people just buying this candle because they like drake or are they buying a candle because it's a great product? It's giving, we bought it because it's Drake. Now, by no means am I a marketing expert, and I don't claim to be. My focus is primarily on operations. That's my strength, that's my role, I know my place. The candle rollout was presented with dark colors, very gloomy, and it comes with a gold writing, Drake's autograph on it. The audience has a strong percentage of women, so I'm guessing the target market. When I was looking at the press releases, from December, a lot of them were going to like home magazines, lifestyle magazines. I guess you're throwing out a big net because remember I said, there's a group of people that are just buy it because it's Drake, but a lot of Drake fans aren't reading home living. The package of the candle, I've been looking at a lot of unboxes. It looks very clean, very modern, very chic. It really creates an experience. I wish it had branded matches to go with it, like a like their logo, Better World Fragrance on a matchbox or something. Create an intense experience or maybe even a lighter to go with it. A lot of people in your audience drink uses lighters. I can see the candles doing a luxury furniture partnership. Candles go with the uh, vibes, rooms, lounges, and experience and essence. You need to create that and it's difficult to create. He sells his candle in the store uh, in Toronto. I did see this one vlog, shout out to this guy. He's a super OVO head, so shout out to him. I haven't seen it in any stores, I haven't looked either. I thought it was interesting that he dove into the fragrance market. As you guys know, we have two senses that are strongly linked to memory. Music, the second is smell. Drake dominates the music scene, so you may forget the words, but you won't forget the melody. It's the wild, wild west, but can you capture it? If he can, I definitely see it as being very successful, very beneficial. When I think of companies who have successfully gained control of fragrance, like Hollister or Abercrombie, you know what that store smells like. It's a vibe, it's an experience, it's an essence. They've done that incredibly well. Can Drake mimic something like that? Maybe. If he can be successful in fragrance and he's successful in music, he's on to something. If he would have attached these candles to like a single for the song, it would have been easier to like attach the sound to the smell, but that didn't happen. I did see that marketing was done in a few places. It was on Drake's account, uh, DJ Khaled. Drake also sent it to a few of the NBA players that were in the bubble. Better World also had a partnership with Postmates and Uber. Consumers will purchase dinner at like a steakhouse on Uber Eats, at least $50 and you'll get free. I don't know if it was a sample or the full size of Drake's candle. I thought that was a really cute partnership. The candles range anywhere from $48 to $80 with the most expensive one being the one that smells 
like Drake, of course. I haven't seen many people talk about the candle. Now, $48 is a lot of money for a candle, but looking at the luxury candle market, it seems about average price. I've never spent $48 on a candle. I'm not about to start now. I wish I, they sold it at like Nordstrom. Do they sell it at Nordstrom? And maybe I can get a smell of what Drake smells like. Yeah, so just looking at the things that I've mentioned in this video, do I think it's a good company? Like I said, it's only been in operations for three months. I'm not sure if Fragrance is sustainable enough to make this a successful, profitable company. Like, I don't think this is gonna be the company blows up. It could be, it very well could be because it's the wild, wild west and there's so many opportunities. Better world, more like better rollout. <laughs> Let's look at the pros and cons of the company. Better World is partnered with Gavoiden. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. It is one of the largest fragrance companies in the world. He's in good hands. They know what they're doing. First, I thought he went the D to C route, just like direct to consumer. But then I read up and he partnered with like Revolve. So that's great. I love to see it. Next pro I have, uh, the smells of the candle create an experience for our brain and it promotes different feelings. Brandon is a match made in heaven. It's almost like everything that, that you need to be successful in dominating the scent or the fragrance market. Drake has it with the music, the superstardom, everything. He intersects with everything. Just gotta figure out what isn't working and like where the holes is and try to patch it. It can be successful. The global candle market is going up through the roof. 2020 was valued at $7.5 billion. It's projected to hit $13 billion by 2028. You wanna take the company there, it can happen. Even if this run isn't successful, these candles will turn into hip hop relics. They'll be deemed as collectibles 20 years from now. So maybe Drake should put some in the vault and sell them in like 10 years for 20 times the price. Cons, the margin sucked. The rollout wasn't good. He could dive into car scent, maybe plugins for the house. A large part of your audience is probably driving around in their cars, maybe an air freshener. This smells like Drake, get the ladies going. You can still use the fragrance and the candles, that scent and try to push it in other products. And try to do like partnerships with like lounges and like cigar bars or whatever big dogs go to chill. Another con, who is the audience? It feels so unorganized, it's all over the place. Are you selling to middle-aged moms or are you selling to the youth them? Wish nothing but the best for a better world fragrance. Um, I hope it's successful. There's a lot of things that's interfering with the growth of the company currently as of August, 2021. But this is my analysis on Better World Fragrance, the candle company by Drake. Make sure you follow and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm worried about the kid that's sitting in his house that wants to be better than me and all those guys.